we're about to start the show, and you know the drill. If you've been here before and you have something important to share, please add a capital letter Q to your comment. And if you are watching live for the first time, please let us know by writing the word new, and we'll give you a nice little welcome. Enjoy the broadcast. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, where it's all about connections, connections between ourselves as English-speaking uh, residents here in Puerto Vallarta, connections between ourselves and our destination, between ourselves and our city, our state, and our culture. It is a pleasure to welcome you this morning. It is Saturday, April 27, and I am so excited about the weekend. It's not even funny. <clears throat> I hope you have great weekend plans. I'm going to have some social things. I'm going to have some work-related things and some catch-up and some grocery shopping and some crocheting and some house cleaning. And by the end of the day, there goes the weekend. But hey, it's the way it goes. I have a few bits and, and, and news items that I wish to share with you. And I'm going to jump right into it so we have enough time later on to converse with one another. In case you are wondering... The State Tourism Information System has announced that Jalisco welcomed 8.1 million tourists during the first quarter of this year. 3.9 million visited Guadalajara and 1.5 million visited Puerto Vallarta. Not so bad, huh? How much money did they spend here in town? Well, according to uh, according to this news item, uh, 11,453 million pesos were spent by tourists uh, in Puerto Vallarta during the first quarter of the year. And that is, of course, a good thing. Here's another good thing. Now is the time of year during which millions of bioluminescent organisms can be seen floating around local beaches, creating an eerie glow-in-the-dark effect. And this year, it seems that the Bucerías beaches are the place to go if you want to check out this unique natural phenomenon. Talk about glow-in-the-dark swimming. And this one is rather interesting. I don't know about this one, but here we go. Puerto Vallarta Interim Mayor Jose Francisco Martinez has expressed his interest in rescuing a 2016 project that would expose Local, local archaeological ruins located in Ixtapa and create an environmental archaeological park. Few people know that between the years 815 and 1200 of the Common Era, the Western Aztlan culture settled here. And according to archaeologist Joseph Mountjoy, there are um, 10 meter tall pyramids hidden under dirt mounds along with other structures. So the government hopes that rescuing these monuments would add to our destination's cultural and touristic appeal. Apparently, it's just a matter of getting coordinated with the National Anthropology Institute and also paying off landowners for the right to go and rescue these ruins. Would this be a good attractive for the city? Well, it remains to be seen. Um, I personally am not so sure, but it's not about me. So moving right along, we have learned that the upcoming charter flight from Prague to Puerto Vallarta we told you about a few years ago is only for Czech visitors to get here. So no. We won't be able to pack our bags and enjoy a direct flight from Puerto Vallarta to Prague, which is a bummer. I don't understand charter flight rules, but this is what the rules um, indicate. You can only take a charter flight from the country of origin and back, so we cannot take advantage of this, which is a bummer. I need bummer music. There you go. 
bummer music. And speaking of bummer, renowned jewelry house Cartier had no choice but to deliver on their commitment of selling two pairs of earrings to a Mexican buyer at 237 pesos each instead of 237,000 pesos, which should have been the actual price. Of course, somebody made a boo-boo on their website and forgot to type three extra zeros. So the question to me is, oh, tomala, of course, yes. The question to me is, so are you on Cartier's side or are you on the buyer's side? Because the buyer, you know, he just saw the price and nabbed it. And I don't think there's anything wrong or illegal with that. And there are other people that criticize the buyer that say, by saying that he should return the, the earrings back to Cartier because it was a costly mistake. Uh, and yes, it was. So whose side are you on? Please feel free to comment on this one. It's just a matter of curiosity more than anything else. And let's look at the weather just to see what's going on out there this weekend. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy and can form on other planets, including Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus. Well, there's something we didn't know. 26 degrees out there right now. Humidity is at 58%. And our weather forecast indicates that today's going to be a humid day with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day with a high of 28 and a low of 18. Then tomorrow, Sunday, will be another humid day with mostly clear skies, a high of 27 and a low of 17. And then Monday, we will begin the work week with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, a high of 27 and a low of 16. Now, if you are wondering why there are so many swimmers are hanging out around the Malecon today, it is because the National Open Water Swimming Championships are taking place both today and tomorrow. The event goes on from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. So there you have it. If you didn't know about this, well, I kind of knew about it, but I didn't comment on this before. But if you want to go take a look at the swimmers doing their thing, you can just go over to the Malecon and check it out. Also, if you missed uh, this past Wednesday's Mariachi Jam at the Isla Rio Quale, you have nothing to worry about as the city's cultural department has announced that the event will come back every month on the last Wednesday of each month. And this is going to happen indefinitely. It is a great opportunity to enjoy a number of local mariachi bands performing free of charge. And of course, this is about music, and this is about music. This is just a nice little reminder that my music appreciation presentation, Great Mexican Songs, their composers, their performers, and their stories will be available for you to watch online live this coming Monday April 29 at 4 p.m. and subsequently will be available on demand. There's a special price to watch for uh, Coffee and Headlines subscribers. So this is a great opportunity to support our projects. Also, this coming week, we're going to do What's So Funny, which will be about the humorous side of classical music. This will be in person, not live, although we will later make it available on demand. And last but not least, the links to watch or join the Spotlight this coming week are already on the website. And by website, I mean my Facebook website. If you go to the Facebook website, you will notice on the featured section that you can find the links to either watch the broadcast or if you have an event coming up that you wish to be interviewed about. There is a link on how to register for the, for the broadcast. And there's also a link to our explainer video if you want to know more about the spotlight, how it works, and how you can get on board. And all of that is now very clearly identified in the 
homepage of my Facebook page. And that brings us, of course, to our chit chat section, which gives me an opportunity to see what's on your minds. Um, and let me see. Oh, as long as I see that Michael Beford is on, I just saw a comment from Michael. Michael says, consumer side, Cartier learned a valuable lesson, fair. But as long as you're here, Michael, I, um, I want to ask you about that wonderful new dish that I enjoyed with you yesterday. I had dinner with Michael at Siam PV and he offered me a taste of a new pork belly dish that was absolutely yummy. Please share some details today here in the, in, in the chat so that we can get excited about this uh, or at least know what the new dish is called. And now let me take a quick look at your comments, starting with all these wonderful good mornings. Thank you very much. Pudim uh, pum pum pum. Oh, I love this one. Dan says that Kathy removed the blanket from the bed this morning because this, the warm season is here. Yes, I've been peeling layers from my bed as well and increasing the notches on my ceiling fan. Um, where it's starting to get balmy and it will get even more interesting, but we know that we know that we might as well embrace it. Let's see what else we have. Albert says that explains why it was so hard to get an Uber extra tourists. I don't know if this refers to a specific something or what, but you know, I took an Uber into town yesterday and traffic was just nuts. And I asked the Uber driver, do you think this is because there's a specific event or repairs or our city is simply um, experiencing a natural increase in the vehicular traffic or the number of vehicles? And um, I suppose it was a little bit of everything. Uh, let's see. Oh, Luisa. Luisa says going to Nueve Esquinas for birria and seasonal pitaya fruit. That is wonderful. As a matter of fact, I found a great historical photograph of Las Nueve Esquinas in Guadalajara from the 1940s, and I'm going to print it and bring it along when I go to Guadalajara in July, because I want to take one of those photos in which you show the before and you photograph the after, or the current state, uh, because it's, it's a beautiful part of the city. If you don't know about the Nine Esquinas or the Nine Corners, feel free to write nine corners on your comment and I'll be happy to talk about this at length. Uh, uh -huh. Curtis says Puerto Vallarta is a major money money maker hence the safe conditions here. Um, I would tend to agree with you Curtis. I, we've been a very important tourism destination for many many years. My only hope is that we continue to look um, after our city as it grows into a larger city. And uh, let's see, Sherry says, I'm on Cartier's side. I'm thinking the buyer might have known it was a gross mistake and took advantage of it. Yes, truth in advertising, but in everyone is human and mistakes are made. Fair. Uh, let's see what else we have. <laughs> Linda says, wow, what a great deal. Good for him. Uh, Mark is with the buyer. And then Dan says, considering the markup on jewelry, I doubt if Cartier lost all that much from their mistake. And Daniel thinks the way I think. He says, I wish I could be at the Malecon today for the eye candy. Hello. It's going to be beautiful, but I have to go shopping. What can I say? Uh, but I'm pam boom, 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 da 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 Oh, fun! Kathy says we went to Vivero Shalom yesterday. You did a video on it several months ago. Fantastic place, isn't it? It is a great place to look at plants or shop for plants or plant holders and whatnot. Um, and Michael answers the question, oh, the pork belly Thai basil, not on the menu yet, but it is in the plants. Well, 
it was heavenly. And if it's not on the menu, but it can be ordered, I'm going to remember that name. I'm going to call it the pork belly chingadera, as long as it's not on the menu. There you go. If anybody wants to go to Siam PV, order the pork belly chingadera. And Michael, please don't call it that on the menu. <laughs> um, and Albert says, pork belly, will it be there tomorrow for dinner? As he's going to Emiliano Zapata. And let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. A new item is coming on the menu soon. Yes, Michael told me that he's working on new menu items for Siam. How yummy. And um, there's a comment from I, my mama. Ay, Dios mío. I don't know that I can pronounce your name properly, so I'm not going to. I am sorry. Paco, we are in the middle of our fiestas patronales in La Cruz in Guanacaxle. I see a lot of comments about the need to have cuetes at 5 a.m. in the morning. I know it's a tradition to do with the time of the Misa. Am I right? Unfortunately, that is correct. The fireworks, it's a local tradition. Um, it's not supposed to take place or authorities think it's have said that it's not supposed to happen it is one of those things that happens and it happens for a week and we have no other choice but to embrace it as part of the local charm what can i say then i see a number of you mentioning nine corners so i'll be happy to do some digging and look at the store at the history behind this very charming nuke in Guadalajara, where you can have some of the best birria restaurants in town. And Luisa says, I like that name, Pork Belly Chingadera. What I would like, Luisa, is for you and Luke to visit Puerto Vallarta and go enjoy the Pork Belly Chingadera with me. And that is what I have to say about that. And with that said, I think it's a good time to end today's bre uh, breakfast. <laughs> today's broadcast i hope you have a great weekend i have so many things to do but i think i will have siestas today and tomorrow and to me that is heavenly i hope you have a great weekend and i hope to see you again sometime soon maybe monday we'll get together i will take a look at um, nueve esquinas over the weekend and or is it seven i forget how many esquinas it is but We'll take a look at this. We'll bring back some information to share. Why? Because we just love creating connections here at Coffee and Headlines. And um, it's time to go. Have a good day. <laughs>